Hello and welcome again to a brand new episode of Slippery Slopes podcast and thank you for joining us today here on Spotify and YouTube and maybe you are watching a clip right now on Instagram but that's fine so thank you so much <laughs> for tuning in for us uh, for us to talk about on a not so new topic but a very upcoming topic and we have we are back to we are back, back to, to crypto back to crypto <laughs> i back to crypto i did a lot I of honestly <laughs> i'm tired about talking about tragedies <laughs> yeah yeah i mean afghanistan and uh, you know talking about kashmir so, the world is burning okay, okay. let's see on the good ethereum side. is also burning <laughs> yes let's focus on the good burning and not the burning that quite literally happens day in and day out and we we do have a good side a progressive yeah side to the world there's good in the world as well yes and, and we it, want to talk about yes for our mental health <laughs> nothing to do with you <laughs> yeah so with that uh, as we talked about in one of our previous episodes that el salvador is the new og in town or a new og new og the, in town is that a phrase new og in town new og <laughs> on the world map like the new gangsta around yeah is el salvador and uh, bitcoin finally wahan chalu ho gaya and it's it's alive and it's pumping we knew yeah. uh, bitcoin was to be made a uh, digital currency as yeah. the official currency legal tender legal in tender. Uh, el salvador yes el salvador for those who don't know is <laughs> a country yeah <laughs> and naib bukelele is the president of el salvador and he's been when well, since he's been to office he's been in office he has been quite progressive when it Very comes to cryptocurrency digitalization and of course the motive of the the move was that people a lot of times el salvadorians if yeah. they are called that <laughs> yeah. they, they live outside el salvador actually most of the educated people like india they live outside and they send money back and a lot of money is lost in remittances taxes and uh, transaction fees for the banks the economy of el salvador is of course not the best yeah uh, so to improve that uh, el salvador legalized bitcoin, bitcoin as a legal as a tender. legal tender which was a great news for all bitcoin maximalists out there yeah. because there are a lot and So yeah and I El Salvador bought some absurd amount of bitcoin yeah they had to they had to. <laughs> yeah they bought some really absurd amount of bitcoin if you think about it i ah. don't know the exact number i don't remember was it around any 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 estimation some 100 something bitcoin they bought wow just absurd wow. to obviously airdrop it to people and just make them rich just like that yeah. so <laughs> so <laughs> basically what happened was the first day happened and the wallets that the government made the app yeah. from which they could transact and they could now use it as a currency if basically yeah. that crashed <laughs> crashed obviously yeah. because first of all this is el salvador remember this yeah. is not san francisco <laughs> not california or silicon valley yeah this is el salvador but yeah. the thing is that i don't know who tweeted or maybe it was nayib bukelele or some someone from the office that this is a revolutionary move yeah it is all right so this won't be without its errors this is something we're trying yeah and this is something we'll be successful at but that doesn't mean that we won't fail or like naysayers won't be there so nay bukelele i didn't i think tweeted on the day that we are working on this tomorrow yeah. will be better and then next day also had some problems so basically the first day was kind of an anti climatic yeah uh, showdown because uh, the wallet app yeah. <laughs> failed Fail, and yeah. a lot of people could not make transactions but uh, i am hoping it's better now yeah i mean if you look at to the fact that el salvador a country with not so strong banking institutions established a country where us dollar was a legal tender because their own they didn't have their own central bank establishment with no with around 60 to 70% of the population with no banking accounts with no you know uh, ever ever uh, taken any loan from the bank they never had a banking account from an overnight change to everybody having a wallet I mean, bitcoin <laughs> bitcoin wallet with them you know i mean With no banking, 
I mean, this is institution. It's it's very uh, to getting an account overnight. It, it, it almost doesn't phone. make sense to me. Why would a politician do that? Sorry, because it's almost giving power to the people. Yeah, it is. So it's I mean, nai bukilele must be like. Must be counted as a revolutionary. Yeah. If, if not, just like a great, you know, yeah, 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 yeah good job. Yeah. He must be like one of the first people to do this and to yeah. be a president of a country. Yeah. And then do something that would, for sure, take power away from him. <laughs> is an amazing thing. It I mean, is. That, it is the most noble thing. I mean, what Bukelele can do is, I guess, total number of Bitcoin holding with an individual, or you know. to keep the bitcoin running in the country so there can be yeah i mean i'm sure he's making some uh, yeah. because, because they have their own as they can be crime using yeah, bitcoin yeah. as well and uh, yeah, yeah, taxes yeah. have to be paid right somehow yeah. right so i'm sure he's i i i know for for a fact that he's the government has made kya ho gaya i i'll just share a story yeah go so ahead. <laughs> i know for a fact that government has made provisions yeah and to not let it go like the wild west not make it florida yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so but it's really I, like we don't give enough credit i feel like to yeah. him that the way the thing that he has done is quite revolutionary i don't think i if i was the politician of a country nah, that fuck that, that. <laughs> that not going to happen but uh, if, uh, if bitcoin as a choice for uh, you know ch- choosing as a legal tender wouldn't be my first option as being a politician i i launch my own some coin yeah, no yeah that that salvadorian un- coin see but th- the thing Something is like that that's what us has done yeah that's what china is doing exactly. digital yuan that's what our government is about to do yeah. cbdc C- central C- bank C- digital currency i mean there's no there's not been an official statement, statement but yeah. i don't know the advisor of the rbi or someone just gave a statement to someone yeah. else and we got to know that they are working on something it's in testing phase at the moment yeah, yeah but that makes sense but then that is a stable coin yeah see that Pegged. yeah it's a stable coin so you want a digital currency that is tied to the rupee yeah that's fine that's why would you want that? <laughs> because yeah. that the thing is it won't rise that the same ideology <laughs> what usdt has with but the it's the it's us pegged. dollar right so, so i mean for them it's like just one buck for them it's not so it's, yeah one buck gets you I a mean, lot of you, things your buying power is the yeah, same yeah one dollar gets you a lot of things so similarly 70 rupees can also get you a lot of things 70 cb yeah but is, the thing with that is it's a stable coin so people yeah you're giving digital currency yeah. to people but then people it's, already have digital currency they have paytm in their wallets issuing you know um, a coin pegged with rupee what will it do is to not print any more cash i mean it saves a the, lot the of pro- the problem with that is maintenance it's still not decentralized yeah it's not decentralized but you know and that is why people are appreciating yeah exactly exactly for man. this reason yeah if i was the politician the, the max i would do is yeah digital currency that's of my it. own that's but it. that is not decentralized yeah. for sure So if you want to go out and do your things, take your tokens. Fuck you! I'm not buying that <laughs> because why would I? Right? Why would I give my power away? Exactly. Because that that is just so out of the out of the ordinary. Like it is. It, it has is. to be a noble soul, soul. to yeah, do, that. do that. And I'm not saying I'm not like rubbing naive bookleller's back for no reason. It's it's really is. I mean. It is commendable, but at the same time, it's like, bro, you know what you're doing, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't. Is I that, hope he knows advisory. because see, El Salvadorians don't have jobs. Yeah, they do. A lot of them. They don't. go out for jobs. Yeah, because they don't. So, have uh, so it's like this. This whole argument of uh, income, fa- welfare income. Yeah. Like, do you want to give people money just without work? Would that yeah. satisfy them? Yeah. I don't think so. But if giving people Bitcoin in their wallets just like that, yeah. and you know pe- giving people the money and freedom yeah how how would that turn out i don't know It's because crime may increase we we do need to <laughs> think about yeah it more. so there there needs to be an economic plan behind it because yeah. now, now now your population has money yeah. but you need to do something about it and then yeah. spending power has increased but then demand and supply need to be matched somehow yeah that doesn't mean that people will go to jobs now and businesses will thrive suddenly that doesn't mean that 
बिकॉज यू नो इफ यू थिंक इट दैट वे सो वॉट आई फील इज दी वॉलेट दैट दे हैव जनरेटेड विल हैव सम शॉर्ट ऑफ के वाई सी प्रोटोकॉल बिकॉज इट्स अ वॉल बिकॉज दे आर नॉट यूजिंग यू नो एनी मेटामास्क और ट्रस्ट वॉलेट बिकॉज सो दी वॉलेट मस्ट हैव हैड अ के वाई सी प्रोटोकॉल अटैच टू इट टेक्स अवे फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द मे मोटिव राइट या इट टेक्स अवे फ्रॉम द मे मोटिव बट वेन यू लाइक इट्स द सेम एज वे वी वुड बी सर्विंग इट एज अ द लीगल टेंडर राइट राइट वी नीड टू ओवरसी बट द थिंग विद बिट वॉच मस्ट बी द थिंग इज दैट इफ यू हैव बिटकॉइन Yeah. then you can wrap it and you can have wbtc wrap bitcoin and then you can you can use it on the ethereum chain yeah so it gives you the decentralized powers you don't need to be tied to the app yeah exactly like wazirx i mean you know you require kyc for a wazirx or a binance yeah. or a coinbase anything yeah yeah these are centralized exchanges but then you can use them to transfer it to your metamask, metamask or, or, or your trust no kyc yeah, there yeah then there's no kyc there it's all fun and games so yeah if you are educated you <laughs> tend to get the rewards in this space or in whatever space so uh, also coming to a fact that we just struggled is the gas fees on ethereum also to close the el salvador chapter would you like tell people how much <laughs> so the banks are losing yeah so <laughs> this is a fun fact that we came across uh, and the fun fact is that we all know that you know there is nothing sustain- sustainable <laughs> like people go out from el salvador to get more jobs right so they send in back money so that is factor income from abroad for el salvador so they get money from the outside now helping these transactions are institutions like western union like they are the biggest and the best in this space so with bitcoin in motion the amount of money western union will lose from this a year annually is 400 million dollars <laughs> <Ta-da! laughs> so western union will have a direct loss of 400 million dollars a year just with the el salvador move because of just el salvador so <laughs> now I, we know if you didn't know why banks hated <laughs> cryptocurrency now you know now you know now you know why <laughs> banks are definitely <laughs> after getting crypto you know taken out throwing, i mean they, they, I, why would you want that <laughs> 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 because crypto it is an dollars. unbelievable amount of money 400 million dollars that's that's like and that's, that's, that's directly huge. going to the government right if you think about it because 400 million dollars in the hands of western union means 400 million dollars to us citizens yeah who would spend it and give money back to the government yeah. because yeah that's how that's the how it works. chain works that's how it works so <laughs> it's an um, ungodly amount of money <laughs> So I mean bitcoin maximalists are very happy very right happy. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean they wanted it from since the start I mean yeah. to eliminate all these people it's with their laser eyes dps on twitter yeah. they are very happy I mean see I I am not a bitcoin maximalist let's say okay same. so for so for people who are not in the crypto space it's not crypto community anymore yeah <laughs> it is something more than now that if you enter the crypto community yeah there's bitcoin maximalists yeah <laughs> then there's defi community DeFi which is ethereum cardano solana all these chains who are trying new things and making products cardano. and making protocols bitcoin community is something else now they call themselves bitcoin Bit- maximalists. maximalists now this is an ongoing battle <laughs> that goes on <laughs> every day on twitter between the defi community the web 3.0 community, community like they yeah. call themselves like we call them ourselves and the bitcoin maximalists see the thing with bitcoin is that it's not programmable per se yeah. satoshi nakamoto came up with it it's on chain the value is very high yeah gold standard for crypto yeah so they call it digital gold per yeah. se Yeah. But the thing with that is you cannot build something on top of it. Like we talked about Ethereum, which was yeah. the first to do this. On Ethereum's blockchain, you can build products. You can do anything you want to. Make yeah. games, make finance apps, make apps, make systems, make do anything. Make an insurance game, protocol, make a game, make a game out of it, make make NFTs. 
फ्यूचर ऑफ इट unless satoshi comes out of nowhere <laughs> for now it's just is the product is final yeah. there's no changing there yeah ethereum cardano solana these are evolving products these are dynamic products they can change people themselves. are working on Literally. it continuously yeah. metallic buterin is out in the open charles hoskinson for cardano and raj gokul and uh, what's his name antli wo yokovenko yokovenko yeah von solana they they're all working on it there are millions of had or thousands of people who are working on their own protocols in communities it's a whole thriving different universe exactly bitcoin is a different world they like the fact that they have proof of work they feel like proof of stake will take away decentralization so they believe in what they believe in yeah and they love it that el salvador has bitcoin now bitcoin now so yeah so for <laughs> if you're not aware so crypto community is kind of divided, divided right now uh-huh. and they try to convince each other but, but there are a lot of old <laughs> coins that run on the same blockchain as bitcoin right when we talk about the bitcoins you know standardization that yeah these shit coins doge shibuna shiba inu shiba inu and yeah. uh, I don't know. There was this, but there those, was this guy G named Pump who made a pump coin, made three tweets, made four hundred twenty trillion coins, and he's a millionaire or something. What the fuck, man? I mean, <laughs> we can come up with an SSP coin. Yeah, no, why not? Podcast. Why talk. not? Pump I mean, it up. Yeah. <laughs> pump. <laughs> one rupee soon. Pump it up. <laughs> not even a dollar. One rupee soon. <laughs> <laughs> we can just mint however how much we want to I mean. yeah but so, it, it requires a lot of so yeah, yeah so now the crypto community is two different things so for people who think like okay this is a win for the crypto community yes yeah, it is it is it is big definitely big is i mean if you're on ethereum side like i am Even i mean I am. I, so that doesn't mean that we cannot celebrate bitcoin being adopted because Bitcoin was the first currency. <laughs> We cannot run away from it. I mean, Bitcoin so, was there when. Yeah, Bitcoin is. Yeah, that was the seed, child. right? It, it, it was the base. It's the child, tree yeah. under which the, these protocols and the all the we have, the Web 3.0 we yeah, have is being made. Yeah, all the fruits are coming. So it's a start. I mean, who's to say Ethereum will not be there in a it few can years? Be there. So But it's an amazing thing <laughs> that El Salvador has done. Yeah, the yeah. first day was a fa- kind of an anticlimactic failure. Yeah. But yeah, the wallet works now. <laughs> a lot of people have. It's not I, as up in most as maximalist party Packy McCormick or what, what's his name, Peter McCormick said that it's yeah. not a novelty anymore. Yeah, it's a convenience, convenience thing now. And with that, we also have MNCs accepting Bitcoin starting from McDonald's. And uh, if a corporate yeah. giant like McDonald's starts accepting payments, first of all, imagine the traffic at a regular McDonald's store near you. All right, and the amount of transactions they carry out every day. All right. So a simple store like McDonald's, if they do accept a currency like Bitcoin, I mean, then there is a great. I mean, there are a lot. There are a lot of people who do the educated guess thing. How many burgers a McDonald's sells Sell, in sells yeah, in a yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, multiply that. <laughs> do, do whatever the. <laughs> do your math. Do your math. Yeah, I mean, just imagine the number of burgers sold in just Delhi NCR with McDonald's. That's the amount. I guess the whole El Salvador it's has. It's an ungodly amount of money. It's an ungodly amount of money, and if an MNC like that just opens up a wallet and says, like, okay, if you believe this is currency, we do believe this is currency, and we accept it. That's that's trust. That's what that trust is, is building up on. You know, concepts like these digital tokens, currencies. This is what trust builds up. The to. thing is that uh, slowly but surely, people are not realizing that it's not just a thing anymore. Yeah, it's the community a, is not just a fringe group of yeah. people who are doing something else. Or some exodus in this. It's society. an industry. It, 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 it's it an is, industry. It is. And I would like to knock out a, a very f- famous publication right now. Yesterday, I was scrolling through my Instagram. Yeah. I follow this very famous publication called The Economist. Yeah, we're all aware. Yeah, we're all aware. I have the app. Eating. The Economist basically yeah. s- destroyed Nayib Bukele. 
called him some Google search. <laughs> the economist basically said that Nayib Bukelele is a dictator hiding behind a democratic leader or something. What the fuck? Some fucking <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Go ahead. We're calling you out. We're calling you out right now. <laughs> We're calling you out right now. We have the story wrecking now. Democracy right. It's wrecking the so. Nayib Bukelele is like wrecking democracy in El Salvador. Says the Economist. Right. Yeah. So, Nayib Bukelele presents himself as a thoroughly modern leader. A year before running to be president of El Salvador, the former mayor founded mm. a party called New, New Ideas. Ideas. Wow. Uh, creative. New Ideas. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, he said the party would shake up a country plagued by corruption and crime, which has been dominated. Right. And the article is premium. So we don't have the membership and we never will have the membership. <laughs> so <laughs> fuck you. So, so the thing with the thing that infuriates me about these, yeah. these institutions, this, this is an institution. This is not just a fringe publication. Yeah. The Economist is the, was by the gold right? standard at, at one point. I mean, just look to this. Something happening in El Salvador written by the Economist coming towards India. I mean, how strong the presence is. Yeah, that's, that's just one uh, to put it in simpler terms. My question is, you are the economist. Keep <laughs> up with the economics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you think about Nayib Bukelele as a democratic leader who's turning out to be a dictator. <laughs> just tell me what the economics say. As simple what as the you. fuck is this? <laughs> we, I'll go to the Times now for my political viewpoint. If you are the economist. Notice that Visa has just bought a crypto punk. Yeah. Notice that Jason Derulo has a crypto Trip punk, punk in his Twitter DP. Stephen Curry has a board ape from Board Ape Yard Club. Yard Club, yeah. These guys are putting NFTs on their DPs. Visa has an NFT. They bought it for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That they want to preserve. As Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. This is the economics now. People are studying it. There are boards now. There are there are analytic analytics Analytical being boards, done. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, how long do they need to just concede defeat and then run with it? <laughs> that will be better. You are a liberal organization, right? The Economist. Yeah. Have you seen a right wingish article from the Economist ever? At some points, really. it's a liberal, liberal fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a liberal <laughs> thing, but at some point, like this was surely a right wing thing. You are the face of the progressive economist movement. With Keep up with the times. With technology, I mean, economist is the first economic paper that adopted technology so fast. Yeah, keep up with the times, please. I mean, this is not 2011. I mean, yeah, you can sl miss slander Bitcoin in 2011, yeah. in 12, in 2017 when the DAO hack happened. You can sl you can say anything you want to about Ethereum. This is 2021. There is one billion dollars <laughs> being locked in Solana right now. <laughs> Ethereum has much more. Bitcoin is worth, I don't know, an absurd amount of money. <laughs> trillion, it's in trillions now. The total market capitalization of Bitcoin Wake is in up, trillions. motherfuckers. <laughs> Wake up. Also, uh, <laughs> if, if we see that there are now certain pressures now upon institutions to adapt, I mean, let's just say that a simple uh, example I'll put forward is with Wazirx in India, right? So a lot of my banking partner, uh, my bank, I see, I see. They simply just denied that we won't, you know, yeah, carry they our just transaction. No. They <laughs> just said no. Yeah, because they, you know, you fear what you don't understand. Now, this is the biggest thing. Banks do not understand or they do not want to understand and want you to understand what this process is. Decentralization and how power is shifting, right? So, what simple example I was giving was that my banking partner denied. Then, you know, I tried some other ways with through some other wallets, MobiQuick, Paytm or something. You know, sometimes the transaction do happen smoothly and sometimes it doesn't. But there is this point that there is this pressure on banks like ICICI or the banks that are saying no to it. They hesitate coming late to this bandwagon because right. they'll, they'll hesitate because it's a pressure on them because more and more the people are getting into it the more they want to trade on platforms like Wizards. right i mean just and the more they lose 
on the money that is being deposited from INR to Vazirx or some other exchanges. So the transaction fee that they are losing upon this, just because I mean, they you, do not understand. You, it's obvious, but they are so scared because okay, so uh, Vazi, the these there was a scare in India. That's understandable. Yeah. That RBI was about to yeah, ban. I was, I was scared. About <laughs> ban it. So yeah. the banks just said no. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to deal with you because they were not allowed to. Allowed but to. then the, the, <laughs> the Supreme Court did come in and now they're allowed to, but they still don't. They still fear. They still right? don't for some reason. Because see, when you transfer money from your ICICI to your Vazirx, money yeah. some money goes to ICICI. Yeah, well. exactly. So you're losing but, out on that, first of all. Yeah. And then you're in some delusion that this is still a movement, this is still a fad. This yeah. is not a fad. fad. There are protocols being built on protocols, on protocols. So please wake up. And they'll keep on <laughs> building to refine the entire industry. You know, These, it's, this is not just some, some rebels working on this. The brightest of minds of the tech space. See, the internet is an amazing invention from the computers. Yeah. Web 2 was an amazing invention Change. from the internet. Web 3 is an amazing invention from Web 2. And now these people are building on top of that. So these are the best minds in the world who are working, working every body. day in and day out. If you think you can beat them, best of luck. You are <laughs> going to lose. <laughs> Simple as that. I mean, JP Morgan accepts Bitcoin now. I think they work with Bitcoin. They, they, Morgan they work Stanley with works with Bitcoin, Bitcoin now. now. So congratulations. You woke up. Wake up. <laughs> I mean, I, I, we, at this point, yeah, we like to, okay, moving on to maybe Ethereum now, we'll talk about that. And yeah. of course, Solana as well. And Cardano, please. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about Cardano as well. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of fun so to we have. We have, we <laughs> so, have hard folk update coming. Yeah, so the thing is that, yeah, we, I mean, I am sure people outside have also heard that gas fees is very high. It in is Ethereum. Very so gas is basically transaction okay. fees on Ethereum. When you deal with things on Ethereum, say protocols on Ethereum, say a money lending protocol and you lend your ETH or you lend some coin. So the transaction fees of that transaction is very high on Ethereum right now. Super very high. high. So high. it's like a hundred dollars a lot of times. Once it was like some absurd 30,000 30, rupees. I was like, what the fuck is happening here? For, no, no, <laughs> so, isn't the gas fees based on uh, percentage of the amount that you are transferring or is it just no, no, no. It's, it's dependent on the amount of traffic that the Ethereum Network blockchain is, is facing at the moment. So the, it's like the Uber ride, right? If surge, if surge price, surge kind of a surge price. Yeah. So yeah, we like to complain about that. But high <laughs> gas is proof of high traffic. High traffic is proof of high demand. High demand means there are a lot of people dealing on Ethereum. Yeah. So it for is. people who still like to deny the space, you are late, my friend. <laughs> you are late. You are in delusion. Some kind of a delusion. This is this is a good point to make to make you know proof of things working out for Ethereum and how surge is there. But looking on to another side of it, for a guy like me to actually carry out a transaction with thirty thousand rupees as fees, gas fees. It's not thirty thousand always. It's, no, not it's always. It's kind of see. It ranges from. Right now in India, it ranges from say six thousand to ten thousand. Ten thousand, yeah. So for me to transfer like my ETH holdings to a wallet, I mean, no, I'm losing a so, lot of money. So the thing with gas fees is it's only on Ethereum blockchain. So if you have a MetaMask wallet, yeah, <clears throat> which is on chain wallet, which is on Ethereum only, yeah. So any token that works on Ethereum chain and yeah. plus ETH, hmm. <coughs> that will cost you gas. Yeah. If you want to transfer even ERC twenty. ERC20 is the token that works on Ethereum. Yeah. So that would require gas. But yeah, from your Vazirx to your wallet or wallet to Vazirx, that doesn't cost much. That's like 500 rupees transaction fees. Yeah. But, but that goes to MetaMask. So, so again, the problem with these things is like it's not solved. What's the Ethereum community 
or the web 3.0 community depended on metamask is a centralized company company yeah so someone needs to come up with a decentralized wallet i guess <laughs> discord is a centralized company twitter is a centralized company so yeah the things are aave aave actually aave is a defi lending defi and borrowing protocol. protocol it's working on a twitter of its own a decentralized twitter social media platform yeah so social media platforms are being built on top of ethereum wake the fuck up the economic economist wake the fuck up i mean i played a game on <laughs> running on blockchain it's called decentraland have you heard about it yeah, so yeah it's a it's a it's a world or it's it's a game made on blockchain so it's a metaverse yeah. as as they say in metaverse so i have my avatar there and uh, it deals in mana uh, the de- decentralized cu- currency and uh, in game i can do you know uh, i can write code in game and i will be rewarded in tokens that are worth 70 80 rupees one token is 70 80 right. rupees at the moment and uh, it just makes it more you know it, it's a game anyway but it just makes it more believable the fact that if i am writing a code there is a system that is automated and rewarding me with a token that right. how well balanced the economy is that's just we are talking about a single game that is decentraland you can right. buy land on the game right right and uh, one of my friends uh, he plays decentraland a lot and he has bought some land and he made a museum on it and uh, the museum is nfts some of the nfts that you know his friends other friends have bought so they are on display inside that museum and there is an entry charge to the museum and that's like 0.1 mana token and you pay that token and he receives that entry charge yeah, and all it now he's and the people can see nfts so he's earning right he's, he's earning earn from he's a game. so and <laughs> this is so the thing is like how how much ingenuity does it require to make something like this make a commoditized game, game this yeah. is not just your cod tokens yeah <laughs> this is on chain tokens which you can use to lend and borrow or swap in an exchange stake to earn yield exactly so, <laughs> this is not this is something on top of the ingenuity we can imagine right now yeah right this is a level above so <laughs> just to finish on my rant on the economist you should really wake up this is not just bitcoin today I, the maximalists are happy but i am very positive that the flipping will happen soon yeah whether it's ethereum or solana or cardano i don't care bitcoin is not programmable as as of now so i don't see how long it can go is bitcoin cash programmable no 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 it's just bitcoin on its own chain right no uh, bitcoin cash yeah i mean wbtc is programmable so you can yeah. wrap your bitcoin it's like a stable coin but with bitcoin, bitcoin so yeah, yeah. wbtc is the same value as bitcoin if yeah. bitcoin goes up wbtc goes up so but that is an erc20 token <laughs> so you can use your bitcoin to earn the yield basically yeah. but the thing is that these the whole web 3.0 community is working yeah. every day every day day in and day out and so yeah last thing wake up <laughs> now we can go one, on to one one news <laughs> that i also want to share is how paris saint germain is working psg why a football club they have a token yeah they accepted some fees of lionel messi in the form of cryptocurrency right so psg has a paris saint germain fan token psg fan token and one token is worth really yeah one <laughs> one token is worth i don't know 31 dollars But how market many, cap how much is the market cap market cap is 91 million dollars at the moment and uh, fully diluted market cap is 6 billion dollars damn nee what chain means. bro <laughs> <laughs> circulating supply is also it's pretty high but what what i'm trying to say is that the economist you can focus on this fact that when messi got transferred to paris yeah. The there token, was cryptocurrency involved the, there was cryptocurrency involved and the token shot up when the token shot up it definitely added to the revenue of the club and this revenue held psg to not come in financial fair play rules you know uh, scrutiny how intelligent economists the economists writers at the economist 
Please. This is economics. Please. This is economics. Look at this. I mean, update the, your theories. I mean, the <laughs> more people talked about Messi moving to Paris, Sergio Ramos moving to Paris, right? And other wine, uh, wine and alum, wine alum, wine alum, moving to Paris. I mean, the more they talked about Paris, the more hype PSG token got. The yeah. more hype PSG token got, the demand increased. Yeah. Price so, increased. So, I mean, and to quote earned. one of the greatest economists of the world, Mr. Keynes, which yes. has we have the Keynesian theory, right? Keynesian, he yeah. said, in the long run, we are all dead. So, <laughs> so please, <laughs> so to quote him, focus on this. This is economics. Don't just stay out of politics. I don't want you to write on politics. I don't care. Exactly. If you are in delusion, you'll stay in delusion and you'll lose out because the community is about to build great things and some amazing things are going to happen in this space. So I either you can watch from a sideline and I just mean, read about it and write are, bad what, things. What are these guys doing over there? Yeah, yeah. just watch from and say salty motherfuckers, <laughs> <laughs> or or just say what say things like they are progressing, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's so irritating. I mean, <laughs> uh, who was that co- comedian that you introduced me to? Uh, Andrew the, Schultz, the old guy, you know, um, Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz. <laughs> so, in great words of Joey Diaz, Joey Coco Diaz. Joey Coco Diaz. In great words of Joey Coco Diaz, <laughs> if you want to get salty, suck a ball sack. <laughs> Coco. <laughs> if yeah. you want to get salty, suck a ball sack. Really? Do not. It's inferior. I just saw that article and I was like, what, 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 what is this? I mean, there is no one positive comment on that article. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you can't shortcut your way to the pe- to, to the minds of people. Yeah. They know what's up. They definitely know, and uh, it and is to say anything against the crypto community, please hang on. <laughs> crypto Twitter is the I I sent this tweet out a few days back. Crypto community is the most united group of absolute strangers, strangers yeah, in the whole saying. world. <laughs> so you, I mean, the U.S. government is facing this. Every every government so, is now facing this, and so they have a community so in yeah. country. So, so, movie, so we can move on from El Salvador now. So basically, yeah. if you're from outside, the crypto community is one. Then <laughs> inside the crypto community, there are two parts. Yeah. There's the Bitcoin maximalist. I would say three by four and one by four part at this point. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a, they are the maximalists. Maximalist. I don't want to talk about them. And then there's the Web 3.0 DeFi community. Yeah. With, Within that, there are a lot of chains. So, lot of chains. Uh, and for people to, you know, uh, to make it more clearer, I, I, I heard a lot of doubts. You know, one of my friends, he just started with cryptocurrency, st- just. So, he's not much involved in it and he took me in for some advice. So, I'm not a good person to go for advice. First, well, disclaimer, <laughs> I'm not a good person. So, he just said, you know, what are the coins that you believe in, the backers. I, I just explained him a bit. And he said that, you know, these tokens are privately held. You know, the owners, like, if I say, like, uh, Bitcoin was made by Satoshi Nakamoto. So, there's this one founder backing it up. And he just asked me this question that there are so many coins. I mean, uh, we have cryptocurrencies, what, like, more than 20,000 cryptocurrencies? Yeah, more than Indian gods. There are coins. (laughs) No, not yet. (laughs) Not yet. (laughs) Not yet. But yeah, we have more than 20,000 different <laughs> cryptocurrencies available to buy in India in a direct or indirect way. Right. right. So when we talk about all those 20,000, so he just asked me one simple question that what are these, you know, uh, meme coins doing out there? Mm. Now? They're polluting space. Basically. Exactly. That's so, what we wanted to make clear. Yeah. So see, if I'll, if a newcomer is in new to DeFi, yeah. first of all, go to Finematics YouTube channel. <laughs> that will get you started. That's an amazing YouTube channel. But uh, otherwise, just a piece of advice. Don't look at the tokens. Yeah. If you want to invest and just earn on the on whatever the hype is, wherever the hype is, buy an ETH or buy Sol, Sol or ADA Cardano. or BTC. You can buy BTC. It's a very high value. Yeah. If you want to get involved, tokens are not it. 
there's a lot to it there's a lot of it it's a whole another industry it's like going into the fintech market so if you're going into the fintech market do you ask whether us dollar is good or rupee is good no you no, don't. don't you go into the fintech market and see what zerodha is doing or what uh, upstox is doing or what wazir x is doing because coin switch coin, what these pr- companies are doing protocols what is being built what fampay is doing yeah so that's how you i guess what grow is doing that's how i guess you have to look at because it's not about the token because see there are so many tokens on ethereum only yeah yeah because the way protocols work the way communities work on chain is determined by the tokens because that's how people get in- incentivized so every protocol has a token of its own most yeah. of the times and there are a lot of daos which are autonomous organizations yeah so how do you incentivize them you give them tokens on chain so they can then swap it for eth and then do whatever they want to but yeah. the to- the number of to- these shit coins <laughs> are shit are coins lot. they are shit coins for a reason yeah i think doge is one of them but it got major part of the hype due to Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. So uh, the thing with Doge is all is also right. If you program Doge, if someone comes along, if Elon is interested in g- getting in getting Doge, Doge to yeah. a certain level, he can program it and then do something about it. See yeah. what the future is. I mean, the token is an investment. I get it. If yeah. you just want to invest, just buy ETH, Sol, ADA. These these because these are these something will grow. Bad. Because That's these will grow. Logic. Something there's logic in back, that right with logic yeah so there this this is not the stock market because and if, so here's an analogy if you go into the stock market you won't just ask what's the hype <laughs> <laughs> which stock is on the rise because you don't know what deepak night right is <clears throat> <laughs> or you don't know what i don't know srf is yeah you you don't know <laughs> you just won't buy a reliance because it's rising right yeah So you have to do your research. You have to see the accounts of the company. What the company is looking. What the ten-year plan is. Yeah. Oh, so that's how you supposed to look into it for and a newcomer. And it's it's just do your own research. Do not take advice from Twitter all the time. I mean. Yeah, there are a lot of Twitter accounts that, that will give you advice. advice within the Ethereum community or within the Cardano community. But if yeah. you want to look for financial advice. Um, do your research do that's your research I, that's what because if you want to just buy coins yeah it's like buying nfts you don't know what nft will rise it's I'm, what the community behind it is doing for what, yeah. what the hype is like and what's the reason for that hype exactly so that a lot of people lost a lot of money because of doge because it went up yeah. to 50 something rupees and then now it's on 40, 20 40, it's at 20, 20, 20 so a lot yeah. of people lost lost a lot of money because the hype didn't have a real kind of a backing it just had elon behind it and exactly. even if it is 20 yeah the truth is it went started from 2 to 3 two, rupees two, three and now rupees, it's at yeah. 20 so <laughs> if you had invested in it when it was 2 you're still in profit i know people invested in <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's the thing also, defi yeah. is not the stock market defi is the fintech space of cryptocurrency it's the whole industry it's a lot of companies or protocols working on the future yeah and when we talk about all of this the defi thing is the more progressive it is like it is the, the only progress the uh, it, it, yeah that's that's what i'm trying to say that it is the uh, it functions all the uh, major aspects of a bank that is in insur- insurance yeah. no yeah. Uh, insurance is still a Yeah, uh, peop- there are some protocols that protocols for insurance, for insurance, borrowing, lending, exchanges, minting, exchanges. So these are the basic establishments of financial institution. I, I mean, that's what DeFi does. Yeah, then there are NFT marketplaces. Yeah, there's And NFT. There are projects working on NFTs. So, for example, if you buy an NFT, you yeah. can do nothing with it. <laughs> right. Is this in your wallet? So an NFT is an ERC seven twenty one token. It's just a name of the token because not it's non-fungible, right? It's not a rocket or missile. ERC. Yeah. So <laughs> the thing with token. the thing with the coin token, like say ETH, yeah, or 
DAI, let's say, let's take a token called DAI. It's an ERC-20 token. So mm-hmm. ERC-20 means that one DAI, like we discussed before, yeah. one DAI is indistinguishable from the other. Mm-hmm. But that's not the case with NFTs. Yeah. So how do you bring a unique thing on chain? It's called an ERC, ERC-721 token. Basically, yeah. it's rare. It's just it's that one rare. is the only one. Now, that is illiquid. I mean, if you want to sell it, you need a buyer somewhere to yeah. buy it. It's not just you can go to an exchange and give away your, your NFT just <laughs> like that. So it's an illiquid market, right? Yeah. I mean, if you want to sell it, you can't. It's just with the NFT, not with the tokens. Try yeah, to it's an, it's an a NFT. Difference. So a difference. there are protocols being built on how to make that illiquid market liquid. Liquid, yeah. So you convert your NFT into an ERC-20 token, then swap it. So you have liquidity. So these kind of products are being built every day and there are a lot of projects around (laughs) NFTs right now. When we talk about, you know, NFT now, just don't imagine it as a token. NFT can have, you know, art attached to it. Yeah, art. Art in forms of music, art in forms of pictures, art in forms of videos, text files, uh, important codes, memories or whatever. NFT can be supposedly anything that can be digital can be put on to and can be minted yeah. as an NFT not put on to can be minted as an NFT yeah. so it's just not another just don't confuse it that's what I you know yeah. want to draw the line at NFT is a space in your pocket in your jeans pocket put whatever you want to put it in like yeah. put, put so, so let's it. talk about NFTs because 2021 is has been NFT summer as NFT. rightly has been called as the NFT the summer. summer. Yeah. And the increase in trading volume on OpenSea, which is an NFT marketplace, yeah. is insane. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's and insane. It is, the amount is. of people who bought NFTs in July and August was insane. Super insane. <laughs> I mean, I, I I contributed to the OpenSea market <laughs> with 0.001 PTH. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so, so I mean, June, July was great for NFTs. Two reasons. One, one of the reasons was because Solana also came up with its own NFTs NFT and launch. projects on Solana. Visa bought a crypto punk of its own. Yeah. So if you go to Visa's Twitter account right now, it has a crypto punk as its <laughs> PFP <laughs> profile picture. Visa bought a crypto punk on OpenSea for $150,000. Just think about that number. They, they changed the DP though, but they do have really. It. Yeah, they do. They, they did. I, I was just saying so, because so they bought it for a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I saw that article. They bought it. So too. a lot of people came on board. Steph Curry has a board a yard clubs NFT. Yeah. Jason Derulo has a crypto punk right now. Exactly. Mike Tyson has an NFT as its PFP. So. This hype was so great. Paris Hilton was explaining Jimmy Fallon what an NFT is yeah. on his show. So someone like Paris Hilton. Yeah, so it was like it, it, it's it, it was like Bill Gates explaining the internet to I don't know one of the late night shows he went back in the day. Yeah. So I mean the hype was very 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 real, and some great projects came along. One, at one time the floor price of crypto banks was around hundred ETH. Yeah. Which is Again, an ungodly amount of money. 100 ETH <laughs> is 20 crores, by the way, in INR. So, though, though 1 ETH is like 20 something thousand rupees. What? ETH? Yeah. 2 lakh rupees. 2 lakh 60,000. Yeah. So, As of now, when we shoot this. So, yeah. So, 100 ETH would be. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> 20. Yeah. So, move on. <laughs> we are broke. We are super broke. <laughs> so, but, so, but talking about that, so NFT summer was very, very high. A lot yeah. of great projects came in. A lot of great projects are still in place. People trading NFTs left, right, and center. Yeah. And one great thing that came along was Solana. Now, Solana has been very active in India as well. Yeah, I saw all Backed the, by the, the, our very own Mr. Tanmay Bhatt and Akshay BD on Super Pumps uh, DAO now. Uh, yeah. Uh, or its YouTube channel, its podcast. So, they Solana has been doing hackathons worldwide. Now, we have Solana India's hackathons going on. Yeah, and it's, it's good to see. I mean, they're investing <coughs> in the youth. 
as in, in indian India, devel- developers have great have. Cha- cha- so chances they have an opportunity in there this. so the thing with solana is that it's faster than ethereum yeah and lower fees is also the gas fees is negligible yeah it's very low so the way it works is it uses something called proof of history yeah now we talked about what proof of work and proof of stake is proof of work is basically how bitcoin works and right now eth works yeah lot of computers <laughs> try to validate transactions at the same time yeah the first one to do so gets the reward Lord. and validates the transactions that is expensive not good for the environment takes a lot of power and on the grid yeah very slow very very slow because it also wears out the equipment very quickly right. i mean the amount so, of processing so that is very happens. slow right yeah now proof of stake which is eth 2.0 yeah. and cardano and matic and uh, mm. not solana but Big a lot of projects are matic as well i mean a lot of projects are proof of stake now so yeah. proof of stake is basically only 1% does the computational work you stake your token you yeah. stake your eth say 32 eth is the max limit yeah you stake it and if you win it depends the it's a random thing like who gets selected if you mm-hmm. get selected you do the computation transaction goes ahead less power quicker quicker but not as quick as proof of history history so i mean history is just like that don't tell where it came from just let us record the final you know situation the process it's right the, so, so they, they they are cutting on to the process of you know how right so it's basically transaction happened yeah then i come to you like and tell you this transaction happened, happened. and then you validate it yeah. instead of that while the transaction is happening yeah. you click proofs you click a photograph say yeah. of a transaction happening so you know one snapshot two snapshot three snapshot, snapshot four, four snapshot yeah. and the transaction S- happened step by step so now the exact time you can find out yourself because you have photos say if i drank this cup of coffee yeah right now if it was full at at one point then it was then it decreased then it decreased even more and now it's an empty glass So if you clicked photos of the whole process, process uh, yeah. along the way that's now you know the class is empty you don't need anyone else to validate it yes so the blockchain on solana the solana blockchain clicks a snapshot per se every 0.4 seconds and the proof of history system makes it much mm. much quicker quicker yeah much I quicker mean, just imagine writing a code of what is happening in front of you to explain that to a computer or instead you just take out your phone and you just do it yeah so it's I mean, an it's an ingenious uh, thought, thought of work so yeah. right now i think the transaction speed on ethereum is 15 uh, transactions per second or something like that yeah so solana is 60000 exponentially yeah so eth 2.0 when it comes out Yeah, it solves a lot of problems with yeah, the so, gas fees so when e2.0 comes out it says that it will be 100000 which is 1 lakh transactions per second yeah. so that will be very quick but then solana also has very less gas fees yeah because if you don't need validators And you don't need to give them the rewards big computer rigs so what is a gas fees a gas fees is basically the fees that goes to the miners miners yeah in that the proof, working hard. in the proof of work system yeah So that gas fees right now because ETH works on proof of work it hasn't gone to proof of stake yet yeah. so that gas fees goes to them so that's why we have to pay for the gas fees when there are no validators when the blockchain validates itself you don't need gas it's simultaneous snapshots Shops, yeah so that is why the gas is very low i mean with that process in mind i also feel solana is better not just because of low gas fees or something Uh, but the process that we just you know explained with photo- photographs involved or per se like it's just an example of photographs yeah it's a very uh, simple example yeah. for uh, for much all more of us than this. there in the room yeah. even i'm learning a lot you know right now solana is work solana is written on rust a language called rust yeah apparently that is the hardest a lot of developers have come across I don't know. I have nothing. No idea on that. No idea. I have mean, <laughs> no heard about idea. Rust <laughs> as a language. I mean, I'm fuck. on JavaScript right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so when we talk about you know how Solana is working on increasing the number of transactions, minimizing the gas fee, versus Ethereum, that is the you know one of the earliest and the biggest as of now, with the second largest 
market capitalization yeah. at the moment so uh, there are this analogy what i believe is we if we look at to other coins as well like a lot of people do make fun of cardano <laughs> but i really want to bring cardano <laughs> here because i believe in the project a lot one block per transaction that's okay all right that's that's <laughs> no no go on that's going to be fine <laughs> when the hard fork update comes this 12 september that is right around the corner at the point of shooting this podcast but when we talk about other chains so i do believe that one day there will be a chain doing better than it it all together i think it will be a multi chain because world. every chain when we see like eth came first then came some other else and else and else so i just see them as a better evolved eth in see, the process the, th- the thing with cardano is so basically what he was saying one transaction per block was that the say uniswap is a decentralized exchange, exchange yeah. on ethereum say the coin base basically the coin base of the decentralized, decentralized world. world yeah so cardano when it was introducing its smart contracts uh, so the uniswap of cardano chain <laughs> came along and a lot of people faced a lot of errors because it didn't allow more than one transaction per block in one block only one person could make a transaction that is not how a transaction and how lot. many transactions do happen <laughs> a lot block. a lot i don't know the exact numbers so uh so it, the ethereum community likes to make fun of cardano a lot <laughs> so they basically had a day out as they were like okay this is a laughing this is a co- comedy show happening right in front of us we can make as much fun, fun as we want to so but the thing is when i saw that happen of course i i went in with the jokes as well but the thing is that <laughs> the thing is that this is a good thing for cardano this is yeah, a good thing for ada the thing is that uh, the the reason why cardano gets so much hate i i don't understand a lot of it but the reason why charles hoskinson and they get a lot of hate is because they have been in talking so long has they been talking for so long and they peer review their studies and they peer review their white paper they peer review their projects they peer review everything and they call on researchers but the product is still isn't there So and it's a cause of frustration for a lot of people and that is why they are being made fun of and when you see, so fair fair game is that if you spend 5 years on in, in research and your then your exchange allows one transaction per block and you didn't see the, that coming there is going to be fun made of you so a bitcoin block has <laughs> 500 transactions <laughs> versus cardano having so, one transaction so, per block so a lot of people had a very good day out i'm <laughs> making fun yeah. of cardano that day but so it's so i what i believe is like when you peer review things when you it takes time when you're iterating when you're working you're just working on theory yeah. you don't know something will definitely go wrong when it goes on chain when it goes live it's bound to happen it is it is bound ethereum, to happen without testing when ethereum was happen. here it wasn't the full product and it still isn't there are a lot of hacks that still happen uh there are a lot of problems with ethereum that they are solving right now solutions are being searched for but it's out in the open they're building it in public what cardano has done is like they they've just want, i feel like the whole motive is to give the perfect product out whenever it's out yeah that doesn't work that way So you I need feel to like see, yeah, it, what's it's a response? positive thing in hindsight that this blunder happened <laughs> because now they fix it right yeah, I hope they don't take 6 years to fix it again <laughs> just like they've done before but now it will get fixed now things may start getting rolling they may get better <coughs> be like with the hard fork <coughs> right right i mean so so when with smart contracts being introduced yeah. on, so, on cardano chain so for finishing on the nft summer that has been happening a lot of projects came on solana and solana has now as today i saw that wait 1 billion rupees locked on chain 1 billion rupees oh 1 billion dollars my bad locked on chain and see there's no gas fees you have to pay yeah. so a lot of projects they have a launch date right yeah. and then you can mint it from site and you don't have to go on a secondary market place and buy, buy those nfts for a higher price yeah so there are a lot of hype around a lot of projects on solana as well there was 
and I'll, most of the projects didn't have a successful launch yeah because there was so much hype the system just couldn't tolerate so many transactions yeah but a, a, ba- a downfall of the no gas fees was a lot of people got caught in scams <clears throat> so what eth eth does is if you are buying a project yeah <clears throat> it's a queue that's been that's made yeah <clears throat> and you are in a certain position if you want to get ahead pay high gas and your transaction will be and it will be quicker quicker yeah when there's no gas it's a race it's a flat out race yeah so you don't want to read just click 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 and buy yeah <laughs> but if you land on a fishy site yeah on a scam you click 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 <laughs> and your wallet and you, gets swept off and, and that's what happened gone. to a lot of people you gone and that's what happened to a lot of people because people were so quick and they just wanted to get in so quickly they didn't see what they were doing they yeah. didn't see where they were at, where they were on because the, of course the hackers made a very good clone clone yeah with the <coughs> phishing sites i mean with the fish phishing in talk i i received a email you might have noticed i was smiling like an idiot pehle when we were talking <laughs> so i received an email what a weird individual this guy <laughs> <laughs> whatever shut the fuck up when i'm talking to you important hai ye this is super important <laughs> i received an email from my own gmail account So I have a Gmail account that goes Karthik calling Karthik Ayu <laughs> Chawla zero zero seven. Yeah. So the same account sends me an email, <laughs> and payment required was the subject, <laughs> and why the payment was required was your account has been compromised as you can see that I have made you from your own account. Nigerian princes are after him. <laughs> no, so, no, it's real. It gets real. So. You have your um, uh, like yet. I will send you an email. Karu, so that's like someone else has my password, right? Right, right. So right. your account has been compromised, as you can see from this sending mail address. It's your own account, my account name, Damn. right? And it said that the with this, I also have access to all of your social media handles that are connected with it. I also have a virus that is in your PC that it, you know enables webcam any time. So it said something like that, enables webcam any time. So I do have some of your videos walking around your house, and some videos where you keep your laptop, which can compromise your location. So it's like, okay, what next? So I I I, I was shitting my pants at yeah. that moment when I was reading this. So I was like, I need. BTC. <laughs> this of is course. my <laughs> maximalist. Listen to this. <laughs> this is my BTC address. Transfer me twelve hundred dollars USD dollars worth of BTC, and I will delete all the videos that I have with proofs. Thank you. Regards. My name. Oh damn! <laughs> Fuck. So yes. Up here. So I shitted my pants <laughs> because of two things in this entire email. Not videos. Not any virus. No nothing. Even my laptop doesn't have any super sensitive information. But of two things. First, my email sending me a mail on my own email address. Can't be calling. Can't be. Second. The fucker wants BTC. उसे BBUP आई नहीं चाहिए जिससे मैं पता लगा लूँ ये कौन? So Bitcoin maximalist. Exactly. <laughs> so the email is right here in my mobile phone. Like if you, if you if you want to check out. अब क्या? अब क्या? तो I changed my password first. Yeah. Of yes. Of course. Had to do that. Of course you did. But I also figured out that my account has a two-step verification, but. I don't know. It it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no OTP, no nothing. Fuck you, Google. <coughs> so now, when we talk about phishing, so you made a new email ID or no? No, I didn't. What's the plan, my <laughs> friend? What is the plan? The I plan. don't want to get sex chats from you. <laughs> <laughs> so no, uh, the, the plan is that I've uh, I've re-secured my account and you know I've made every change. I also you know. Contacted Google Forms and you know told you them. You didn't contact the police. 
cyber security no, no nothing what 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 those guys will uh, do what a weird individual we yeah, have yes. <laughs> no i mean what the cyber uh, police hair is good i'm not complaining anything but no they need a lot of working to understand crimes like this yeah. happening right somebody asking me bitcoin so 10 10 minutes i need to explain the guy what bitcoin is i mean right. on on a on ground level right right i, I just know acha ye wo naye wale paise jo internet mein dene dene se ho jate hai ha ye wale paise so no no i mean it's not a stupid guy whoever is doing this because if you are ask like i i saw this news last year that someone kidnapped someone and then asked for 10 btc like an absurd amount of money yeah, so I mean. they got caught <laughs> if you ask for this much amount of money yeah you will get caught Because who is this motherfucker yeah. <laughs> who wants ten BTC? I mean, so, uh, so they asked for a twelve hundred dollars, which is like one lakh rupees, ninety thousand something. Yeah, rupees. Ninety thousand rupees. Uh, yeah. First of all, I cannot afford that ransom. No, <laughs> not. You want my videos? Take my videos. <laughs> Keep them, publish them, do whatever, make an NFT out of them, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Ninety thousand, I'm not gonna pay for my face. Ninety thousand, no, this fucker does not deserve it. <laughs> walking around the house doing shit or even yeah. do whatever you want. Walking, even walking around naked, no, ninety thousand. Keep, keep it, keep it to yourself. So <laughs> this is male privilege talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever the fuck you want. Right, I'll accept the fact that you know. टॉक not this podcast but maybe in down the line we'll talk about zk roll ups and zero knowledge proofs yeah. and Z- zero knowledge authentication I've, which is i've heard about the unbelievable piece of tech unbelievable super super tech that's where super <laughs> comes in so <laughs> so i mean it's an unbelievable it's piece a whole new world because see, zero knowledge yeah hmm? it's a whole new world zero knowledge is basically minimum viable no- proof that i need so yeah. let's say The example that I saw yesterday, watching uh, Super Porn's podcast on uh, yeah. on uh, zero knowledge proofs, was say uh, Alice and Bob uh, are sitting. They they uh-huh. on top of a marketplace scene. There's a guy called Walden mm. who's walking around. Akshay Akshay uh, on the podcast uh, yeah. explained this. So full full disclosure, this is not me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not this intelligent. Anyway, so. <laughs> uh, Alice wants to tell Bob that she knows where Walden is in the whole market scene. Lot of people here, but she doesn't want to do it by pointing because then Bob will know where he is. She just wants to prove that she knows yeah. where Walden is without telling you. So, minimum viable viable proof would be like you want to tell me that you're above eighteen. Yeah. Without telling me your age, you just want to prove that you're above eighteen. Yeah. And that is enough. You know what I mean. So if you were transacting, I'll just show you a pan card like this. No, but then <laughs> so so the thing is then if you so com- to complete that example. Yeah, yeah. What Alice can do? I mean, what you can do to point some to tell someone the location of some someone that you know where they are without pointing. What do you do? I don't know. So what Alice would do is yeah, without pointing out, I tell their location. Is by uh, I mean, <coughs> what can you do? <coughs> I mean, I can click a no, picture would reveal the location. Yeah. Or or or, or l- l- let me think about <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Thoda give me tick, some tick time. Tick tick one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what 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 Yeah, that's that's one point. What the fuck, man? Who so, comes up with all these? So, things? so what Alice would do is, as Akshay told, uh, she would draw a sheet over the whole marketplace, a big sheet that would cover the cover the whole scene. Then she would cut out uh. ex- a piece from the sheet which would cover Walden, and then over the whole sheet she'll cut out 
the piece where Walden is and show Walden. So the relative position of Walden, Bob would not know. Wait, 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 okay. can, you, can you do that again? So if there's a whole sheet yeah. over the marketplace yeah. and then you cut out a piece exactly equal to the space that Walden holds All right, okay. and then you show him from the cutout, you don't have the sense of where he is in the whole scene. Oh, all right. All but right, then right. Alice can tell Bob that, see, I know where he is. Huh. Bob still doesn't know where actually, if the sheet was so lifted. So she can even cut out a bigger circle, like here, in somewhere in this circle. No, 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 no. She just, you can just cut out a small circle, huh. exactly how big Walden is, yeah. point, point it out. Bob can see Walden yeah. from top yeah. and then take the whole sheet away. So Bob still doesn't know where Walden is because when he saw Walden, there was a sheet. Yeah. So if it's a large enough sheet, you're in a desert. Yeah. You don't know where you are. Right. So you don't have the relative sense of where he is. Yeah. But she proved that she knows where Walden is without telling Bob his exact location. You know what I'm saying? I got confused. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. So it might be an intelligent thing to, you know, think a lot of how, about. So if the sheet is big enough, yeah, you don't have the relative sense of where you are. Right. Say if you're in a desert, if you're in a desert, yeah, you don't know where you are, where you're going, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm standing in a desert right now. Right. So okay. imagine it like that. He's a single person in the whole desert. Yeah. So Alice has just told him that here is Walden. Yeah. But when the sheet is not there, he's in some marketplace. So Ooh. Bob doesn't know exactly where he is. So she removes because the sheet. She, yeah. yeah. After the sheet is removed, he doesn't know where he is. Yeah. The sheet was big enough to yeah. not lo- no, let him know the relative position. This, this is an example of what is this is an example of what is zero knowledge proof is. So the minimum viable proof. So so to convert to to convert it to a transactional example. Yeah. Say you made a transaction. Yeah. I just need the proof that the transaction was made. Yeah. For that, I don't require your address, my address. Yeah. So there can be a third number that is transaction number. I mean, Adam. just the zero knowledge proof, just the minimum proof that I need to make sure that this transaction was made without having the addresses out there. Yeah. So a company, a famous company known as Zcash. I'm sure yeah, you've heard, heard about it. Yeah, so yeah, Zcash came up with this. Zcash has been working on cryptography and uh, in this space for years and years. This is years and years of work. And yeah. then may I think I'll we'll link that episode. It was a great episode. 17 minutes yeah. video, which kind of explained what Z ZK rollups and zero knowledge proofs are. Uh, <laughs> it's a whole another world. <laughs> Bro, this, I, 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 I knew about zero knowledge, right? So I knew what I knew about zero knowledge was that yeah, it does require minimum amount of information. Yeah. So, but uh, I, I just didn't know how they do it. So uh, I knew about zk rollups a bit. Yeah, so I read tweets on zk. So rollups. this is what's being happening in Ethereum because Ethereum, as we said, uses proof of work for now. So they are working on going to proof of stake completely. So that will be ETH 2.0 as a lot of people here. So that means that Ethereum will no longer have proof of work. Yeah. It will move on to proof of stake. stake. So, but that, but then also transactions and scalability needs to be increased. Increase. And as we have spoken about the scalability trilemma, as Vitalik said that either you can, in, so there's three pointers on the triangle. There's scalability, security, and decentralization. So what yeah. he says is that you can only maximize two. Yeah. If you get security and scalability, you lose out on decentralization. Yeah. If you think about it, yeah, yeah. normal exchanges are secure and safe, but they're not centralized, centralized or they're yeah. not decentralized. So what he says, if you increase security and decentralization, that's you lose out on scalability. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you lose out on pro- numbers. Problem. So, uh, Proof of for Solana 
tends to be the optimal, optimal solution, solution right now as of as, as of, of now i don't see a problem in that so i mean i'm high on that with more But security i mean there are restrictions again to the um, right then you can't scale scale exactly right? yeah, that's that's if you think problem. about it so what uh, ethereum is doing for scalability is like like we say matic so matic is a side chain so the transactions that happen on matic chain are not happening on ethereum's ethereum main, main chain, chain. they are happening on side kind of a side track and then they those transactions happen and then they uh, go back on the chain after happening so the transactional uh, time that it takes is less is less and, and it no relieves the ethereum chain of the burden kind of uh, this no is no gas fees like, i'm uh, generalizing a lot of terms here but yeah. uh, so that is how it matic works so that is why gas fees is lower on matic even processing because, power is quite low yeah because it first of all matic is proof is of stake yeah so And that is how it works so there are a lot of uh, things happening on ethereum right now arbitrum is also like matic another side chain yeah. so what zk zero knowledge proofs will uh, help in is say there are a lot of side chains yeah and on those side chains a lot of side chains yeah so after a point you just need a proof of the transactions Transaction happening, happening. Yeah. so you don't need to have all that data transferred to the main chain and that saves a lot of computing right. power you can just combine them bundle them up which is called a roll up yeah. in technical jargon and then you have a signature on that which is called as zk roll up and unique signature that signature means that those transactions have happened using minimum proof you don't need the transaction address you don't need all that Yeah. and then that signature can go on to the main chain the main chain knows that these transactions happen happened. and for right. sure they happen so that and is how, how eth uh, yes. is wanting to move ahead i mean this is super crazy this is this is and what this is what these economic times are dealing with <laughs> the economist is dealing with they think they, they can beat the ingenuity all the best Go ahead. I mean, go fight, ahead. Fight. fight. <laughs> Let me see what you guys can, can come up with. I mean, what you'll do? You'll you'll take the plug off. I mean, you you can com- computer switch off. कर देगा क्या करेगा? क्या क्या what what what's the? You <laughs> are yeah, no no like. What's the strategy? I want to know where the confidence comes how, from. How how they'll fight back to what is happening in the tech space right now? There is no answer to it. I mean, to to it's truly said. You know, when you want to, लोहे को काटना is Right. To cut metal, you need metal. Low and low and cut that. Exactly, but to beat tech, you <laughs> come up with more refined tech that supports the previous tech. And who are where are the best people in tech involved right now? Crypto. Tell them. Cryptocurrencies <laughs> on on the more decentralized finance. Cryptocurrency, not just cryptography. Yeah, fifteen year olds working doing, in protocols. Doing this, doing this. I mean. So since the start, I mean, with computers being invented by Charles Babbage, and you know, nobody thought that one day this piece of plastic is gonna right. have my money. And money is just one of the spectrums that humans deal with every day. Yeah. Maybe this can take over with social events happening online. I mean, virtual. I mean, the, you have networks all around the world. DAOs. Yeah. What are DAOs? there are de- there are decentralized organizations there's no boss there's no this boss or a hierarchy yeah. people work and they get uh, allocated tokens according to their transactions proportionate to how much they contribute yeah F- fucking indian is connected with us american who's connected to a brazilian, brazilian yeah. and they don't even know each other <laughs> and they're just working on a common goal yeah. with, with a common objective and they get rewarded with the work they proportionately do yeah I mean, this is change this will change the way company a lot of companies work I mean, why do you need yeah. a boss i mean so you have a startup what do you want you want say down the line you hire a marketing manager yeah who is really not supposed to be there <laughs> i mean there are a lot of people who do marketing and they don't know how to do marketing yeah right what would you prefer would you prefer a guy who's incapable who just has marketing degree and first of all why would i hire an incapable guy yeah, yeah. no but like you you how, traditionally how do you hire you see a degree right how many I, I, how many b com so how many b commerce graduates have have marketing experience none i mean yeah. very less but they do get hired 
in yeah. positions they are not supposed to be in yeah so would you prefer that or you would have a dao Very and good. and you have 10 writers on board who are willing to give you the work in exchange of tokens in exchange of you know distribution so I, I, of your tokens I, i put up tokens in dao and they get distributed according to the according to their work so they do the work 10 writers do the work then the community your community say your uh, users or yeah. the people who support Customers. your product and let's say you have a dao say la la cartel dao and and the community sees the marketing campaigns what they presented yeah the community likes two of them they vote so you get direct response from what the community likes you, they get selected they get paid you're happy you're a happy man that's good so i mean this is what they're solves dealing solves a lot with. of problems solves a lot of problems for a lot of people I, uh, in the startup world <laughs> it does solves a lot of problems you don't have to deal with incapable people and you don't have to deal with incapable bosses because there are no bosses for the employee it's like bringing democracy into my company right that, exactly that people, <laughs> come on people decide what do you want <laughs> so that's a basic idea of what a dao is and it's very very well explained by you that how simple it is to you know organize how organize people are organizing communities like this like this hum we uh, sh- so, shall we start ss dao <laughs> yeah why not Let's why not <laughs> why not hop on so, the bandwagon so i mean this is what one of the guys who's very uh, anthony sasano he has a podcast uh, he's very active in the ethereum he's a very good educator on ethereum i use his resources a lot He, when the us government's sec so it's like a sebi of uh, america yeah they have been after coinbase which is a very famous crypto exchange centralized i mean yeah. they're like wazirx so a big wazirx of the us very big yeah huge they've been after their ass for some reason they say they want they want to protect the investors no investor who has worked with coinbase has asked for their help <laughs> <laughs> but they want to protect the investors yeah. <laughs> and then now they are going after uniswap which is a decentralized exchange they want to protect the investors <laughs> no uniswap user has ever asked sec to protect them no no, no complaints no fine. one none i don't know who they are protecting i mean we know who they are protecting they are essentially bye. protecting themselves from yeah. the government so he, he made a great point he's like the us will lose the united states will lose do you think we need to register as a company or at this point in your nation i can make a dao with my laptop and we can have a global connection with people all around the world and make a company company and work on my product i don't even need to register <laughs> why do you think that you can fight me <laughs> this is an unfair fight it is it is it is simply <laughs> that's 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 the beauty of it i mean just not the money aspect is getting you know technologized or what's the word digitalized but like we came up with dao working in organization is also becoming digitalized yeah. now this is also an important sphere that humans do deal in money work and covid didn't help it did help i mean money work and simply other other we are just not limiting to cryptocurrency we are just backing the technology behind it and that technology can you know have a lot of other things we talked about games metaverses there is this car game speed car I want, i want to talk about an nft project around games yeah go on uh, so there is this game uh, on um, it's 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 on again uh, so the game uh, on blockchain so the game requires you to buy nfts right you buy a nft that's a car that you buy your race driver your race suit that's totally optional but a car is mandatory to buy and then when you win races so your car is unique in the entire game <laughs> that's the fun part of, i mean i'm a gamer I, that's the fun part of it i can buy engine upgrades via nfts that are just with me with my particular own car so that's as good as having a real car no now you must be thinking right i'm just spending tons of money to win a game win a bloody game that's not the point but when we race 
inside i mean haven't haven't you seen ready player one movie the yeah. movie yeah 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 so when it's like we, that isn't it it is it is it is a lot of like it, it is like that but when we race in the game right right so the winner does get real money that i paid for you know right <laughs> and that money is generated through transactions that i've done in game and if someone is going to tell me that real money isn't involved in the gaming industry they can fuck off because that is not true i mean <laughs> what did fortnite Fortnite. Mr. Ninja win. is here to disagree. Yeah, <laughs> Ninja bought a lot. I, not just Ninja. We I have know. PUBG World Cups now. Yeah, I mean uh, <laughs> Dota 2 championship <laughs> yeah. offering millions there of money in the. Esports is an industry now. I, I, exactly. And Imagine e-s- esports on the decentralized e-sports world. Esports is rising, and exactly that's what <laughs> my point is. I was coming to that that esports in decentralized world. That is an end game. Big. That's an end game. That is super big. I mean, if you are a coder right now, make a game on a decentralized <laughs> app. Look how test it out. Send me send us a test. We I mean, it. so imagine <laughs> GTA on the metaverse. That's what decentralized is right? somewhat. So, when this you is commit ready a crime, player one very soon very like, you soon. can spend your money to buy clothes in gta exactly then you can lose them in the mission if yeah. you complete a mission you get real tokens yeah and <laughs> that's can, how it works that's how it, it really works. is amazing and decentral and i really want you guys to check that out works in a very similar fashion like we are talking about real world my friend has a museum in an artificial <laughs> metaverse where people pay him real money to enter make their avatar enter so, So one day you will be up with your VR glasses. Yeah, ready player one, full there. on. You will be there with your laptop, and you will be just like. The future is now, my friend. Like, I just need food <laughs> through my mouth and nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. else. I'm earning money. I'm paying my internet bills. I'm paying my electricity <laughs> bills. I'm paying every fucking thing. But just I'll just. The day you take off your VR glasses, you'll be like. Fucking insane graphics, man! <laughs> <laughs> fucking insane graphics, I mean, right? What the fuck? So, so another interesting thing. Uh, so, gaming, you will like this. Yes. A very interesting project came around just few weeks ago called Loot. Oh, I heard about it. Uh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, NFTs, most famous NFTs are JPEGs, yeah. photos. Photo. avatars 10000 avatars different kinds yeah. you've seen maybe you've seen crypto punks so they, they're all different in a sense yeah yeah but then they're all same in a sense so yeah. so a lot of different avatars mainstream now so this project comes along it only has 8000 initially no gas fees involved no launch date as such nothing you can go on ether scan which is like a dip- repository of all transactions that happen yeah Take one bag, take one loot on your own. Just mint it through EtherScan. No gas, nothing. Just in your wallet directly. Eight thousand were distributed. Their price went up astronomically. <laughs> you know what I mean? What is a loot? Like, what's the product? It's a text file, and not even a text file. A fo- a picture of a text file, and it has weird text. You know, sword. Some weird yeah, yeah, properties, yeah. some weird it. attributes. Yeah, attached. And you would think, why the fuck <laughs> is this shit expensive? So basically, what the loot project guys have done is that they have given out attributes, and yeah. whoever has those In-game NFTs, yeah, they have those attributes. Now it's up to the community to build a game around those attributes. and those people who have those loot bags who have those attributes can then go into that game and use them yeah the so essentially game. not making a game and making the universe inside the game and making attributes and giving people characters and then giving them the finished product yeah. giving them the ingredients yeah and yeah. then it's up to you make a game out of this totally your call totally your call do whatever yeah. you want to do I and make a game and people have bought these nfts so 8000 came in earlier and then they uh, launched another million of those so there are that that's called em loot so if you have that one day maybe someone will make a game and then you get direct entry because you have that loot project wow sounds interesting kind of an idea but sounds you know 
flaky at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, someone will, someone, someone has will to come up. Again. If someone doesn't, hey, it's a fucked. waste of money. <laughs> you're fucked in your ass. Right? No, no, you're not fucked. I mean, you didn't pay anything for those who That's collected first yeah, time. Yeah, if you bought and bought a loot project, you're fucked. From I I've seen loot projects on open scene. That's what I I uh, I was coming to. So I've seen at the same. Uh, just like we buy in-game skins for yeah, our guns. Yeah, so basically they gave attributes. in-game skins already. Now yeah, they said make, make the game. Make the game. Whoever wants to make a game, you have the ingredients. This is what you have to use. Uh, this is the source code you can use yeah. to you know actually start up with your game. And I mean, then you assume that one day my uh, game. It's will basically be, just ideas floating around. <laughs> I mean, if we are talking about games, if we are talking about modern digitalized digitalized world, I really want. GTA 6 to have an element of cryptocurrency. I don't know how they're gonna <laughs> make it. That will take another 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so GTA 5 was a big game with stock markets involved. I mean, if you uh, like, so there is this stock if you buy in GTA. Let's just say ammunition. There's a gun wali shop hoti hai. Ah. I buy stocks of ammunition, right? Then I go to an ammunition st- shop and I, let's just say I destroy the shop. So the stock will go down course, in game, yeah. in game. So it works in your it's kind in of your a metaverse, metaverse, game, yeah, right? mini metaverse. Yeah. So I, I really, sorry, I, I really want to see what GTA Six can do with cryptocurrency or with NFTs. See the possibilities if you are sit endless, here and think about endless. it are endless. Let's say you have a DAO within the game, Fuck. and then you have a token, <laughs> and then if someone, if you GTA token, do something wrong. Then you lose out on token. It's, it's a, it can, it can, what it can be is a universe inside a universe inside a universe, yeah, and you yeah. keep going on. So it can be fucked. I mean, or it can be <laughs> something where people are making astronomical amounts of money, yeah. or it can be something. So, with all this that we are talking about today, there's this one thing that needs to be there. That's, that's knowledge to yeah, get, of course. get. Uh, so <laughs> I think the I, the takeaway like the way we started the chat is it's much more than a token. Yeah, it's much more than the, the currency. currency. This is a whole different space with gaming involved, collectibles involved, with and of course protocols involved, which yeah. are changing the way we do finance every day, every once day, and for all. Protocols are being changed. Yeah, and there are a lot of chains who are working. So it's not just you know fun goofing around gaming and yeah. doing drift you know flipping NFTs. Yeah, there are protocols being built, <laughs> which are working on the future as well, and yeah, so this is much more than just you know which coin do I buy. This is m- more about do I support this technology? If yes, then through which way do I want to support it? And if no, it doesn't matter if you support or not. <laughs> yeah, there are people supporting it. <laughs> yeah, if it, it, it's just this, if you support it, support it in it in the right way. Right, buy tokens, but not do not buy shit tokens. Yeah, I mean, do not buy some rocket coin or something like <laughs> Pump that. Pump token. Buy something meaningful out of your valued money. Value your money. Buy ETH. Buy Bitcoin. Buy Cardano. Buy any project that you feel if is you, good. Even enough. if you f- believe in Bitcoin, for some reason, I don't know. Tell me <laughs> if you do. Buy. Buy it for sure. But provided you've done your research. Yeah. Like we spoke the the. the Conversation we have had is beyond that. Yeah. मतलब जो हो रहा है अब इस स्पेस में. That's running up and running. In yeah. I mean, there's been work on security, insurance, gaming, NFTs, art. You know, music. I'm sure music projects will come. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I was thinking. Yes, I was going over this yesterday because of the whole Joe Rogan and uh, Ivor McTen and this whole pandemic shit yeah. that has happened. Yeah, yeah. With lots of lies and lots of no truths and. <laughs> Profits being made on medicines. Imagine the pharmaceutical industry was decentralized. Wow! I mean, <laughs> everyone would have free healthcare. Free healthcare? I would have <laughs> turned myself into fucking forearms. Smash them, sir. Imagine if it was decentralized. Just no, but uh, a thing like that cannot be decentralized because you need the right kind of expertise. Who's to stop technology from making something like that? I don't. I'm. This is just an idea. I mean, uh, let's say smart contracts. Instead ma- of Fauci, if we had code as law, there's no, no corruption then, right? 
there's no corruption but to imagine a perfect world is also you know, yeah of course i mean you can shoot wrong. for the moon but they say the po- possibilities are endless i mean we i did not know what cryptocurrency was 2 years ago and now we have this yeah but it's okay i mean when we you know fit ourselves into this universe of technology i know i i know coinbase and works uh, so coinbase i i saw Ka- brian armstrong's interview with gary tan uh, gary tan is an early investor in coinbase he's the y combinator guy uh, the short smex y combinator <laughs> guy so uh, he was doing a po- podcast or an interview with brian armstrong when coinbase went public public yeah yeah uh, this is back in 2000 last year i guess last year no 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 उससे भी पहले नहीं नहीं कॉइन बेस आई पी ओ कब आया लास्ट ईयर आई गेस अच्छा आई पी ओ आई थॉट इनिशियल सीड्स नो 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 वेन द आई पी ओ हैपन सो ही वॉज कॉइन बेस इज वर्किंग ऑन अ प्रोजेक्ट बेसिकली अ रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट सो अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स दीज रिसर्चर्स दीज डॉक्टर्स और साइंटिस्ट हैव टू वर्क ऑन प्रोजेक्ट्स दे नीड ग्रांट्स दे नीड फंडिंग सो ऑफकोर्स देन द वन हु गिव्स द फंडिंग इज द बॉस राइट सो he is working on a platform and it is live i mean i don't remember the name but it's basically an open open research platform so people make their research papers publish it on 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 the site no uh, hidden things nothing it's out in the open and if you do research post it you get tokens you yeah. get uh, rewards you get your you know deserved deserved retribution for your work and they just work like that and knowledge is being shared on on in an open source with no a boss or no fauci looking over you and research is being done i mean research can be done but again the entry and uh, entry there should be a barrier at entry if you can do brilliant research and then of course the validation is also from the community right so it's not yeah, so it's not a community full of idiots No, but <laughs> when we talk about population, we need to keep this in mind that majority of them are dumb. Yeah, but uh, not everyone is a genius or an intellectual. So we need to keep that in mind. And when we yeah, but when you do research or at scale, a lot of times the bullshit gets out of the. I way. mean, let's just say that we have we Cardano is a proof, peer review. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, that that's good thing. But let's just assume that uh, we. even if we have you know came forward to, to together together today as a society we still had people believing you know flat flatter <laughs> i knew exactly yeah. what you what was coming out of your mouth exactly flatter <laughs> so let's say people let's say a flat earther makes a research paper that the earth is flat he'll not get validated i'm just saying <laughs> community should be educated with the right Right, level. Right, right. There should be a threshold of education right. for people to even become community members. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. At least right. MBBS kari hogi aapne sir. Tabhi member bolo. Agar aap baat bolo, kisi ka bola kar de. Kisi ka haath sir 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 na haath kar de. Yeah, you of course it's not a perfect product. You need to think yeah. about what the entry level, entry wall is. Yeah. But what the exit yeah. wall is? What? But the thing is that and the idea is out there. They'll be like if Fauci with the Fauci thing going in mind. So we have COVID now. What what we do? And if then the doubt, community votes on having Crocin as the doubt, ultimate. If you if you doubt Anthony Fauci, you doubting science oh is my. what he said. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, to get out, get Fauci out of the way. There are solutions. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> someone is working on I this. I mean, let's imagine <coughs> imagine a possibility with COVID happening, <coughs> and then people the entire community. <coughs> Words on using crocin as the vaccine. Or the <laughs> People would not, right? But realistically, I mean, if you even think right now, without a lot of misquoting does happen. <coughs> I mean, of course, but Brexit, <coughs> biggest example. Fuckers didn't know what they were voting for. I mean, we have Joe Biden as the president. I mean, again, <laughs> another <laughs> bunch of fuckers let's didn't not, know what they were voting for. Let's not. <laughs> we have Joe. We have Anthony Fauci in power. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but. it's these ideas are being built and a very very smart lot of people are working on these yeah so so we can say the future is very 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 bright and solana will be there and i'm sure i believe the world will be multi chain kind of like an iphone and an android and platforms working with each other mm-hmm. and protocols integration protocols being on every chain 
yeah but it also gets complex right when we have like okay so when complexity arises is when you have more than you know two options you know we'll uh, have three two or three maybe Car- in, i don't know about karna no how it will go i'm i'm happy uh, you about it and I, i hope i mean why would i like be not bullish on someone trying something new Charles Hoskinson is a great I mean he's a genius yeah I mean if you haven't heard the Lex Friedman podcast that is enough proof that that, that podcast is, is <laughs> full of gems I mean it's not short on gems so uh, and the work they've done they have peer reviewed a lot of studies but they have fundamental problems in their protocol and until they're launched and till they're out they yeah. won't get solved they won't even know about them So let's see. I mean, Solana is on a roll right now. <laughs> It's on a roll right now. A lot of big protocols being built. Ethereum is on a roll right now. Yeah. With the NFT summer, of course, it's now dipping down. Yeah. The NFT summer uh, this uh, month was. Very winter good. is coming now. <laughs> winter is coming, but next year I believe it will be the year of DAOs. Decentralized. Autonomous organizations. Yeah. Uh, coming up with new products. I mean. Online. On chain, I mean, I mean the rules are on chain. So, a lot so of communities, a lot of mostly digital as well. Of course, I mean Aave has a Aave works as a DAO, right? Yeah. Uh, so Aave is a lending and borrowing protocol. Yeah. You would think so. A, a one person, Tani Kolechov, is the founder. He started the product, but then the long-term vision of Aave is to take away that decentralized power, that centralized power that they have. Right. So what what does that make out make out of it? A DAO. DAO. Yeah, so yeah. Aave distributes token you can go to the, if you want to get involved in Aave you can just join join their discord or join their community help other people out there contribute work in the skills that you're proficient at and earn your merit and then you become a member and, and then you then get the tokens, tokens as rewards for your that. work and yeah then you can uh, vote in on the governance <laughs> you're an Aave a contributor wow I mean, things are getting simple, <laughs> and people who are thinking that this is complex. I mean, this is not. Just straight up your mind once, and you know, just start reading about it. Start. To It's a rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the stock market is. I mean, it is. We also need a stock market for the blockchain, with DAOs being listed as companies to be traded. DAOs are not companies. Organizations. They don't need to. Why don't? Why do they need to be listed? I mean, you need funds for everything, right? Yeah, I have mean, tokens. You huh? have. I mean, you so add liquidity. So there are number of there's there's there, there there this amount of tokens. Let's just say I put up like fifty tokens, and only those fifty can be distributed amongst the proportionate work being done. Right. So you need some. Day, I mean, you need backing. Of, so what happens is some, like so. So if you do like, if your protocol, if say your DAO is a exchange. Yeah. So if transactions start happening on your exchange, you yeah. learn, right? You learn. Yeah. And then you can uh, use that earning to increase the value of your token. Yeah. So that increase in value of the token helps the token holders because they get richer. Yeah. And that's how <laughs> that's how your community is happy and it stays happy. It's like an e-shop when you work in a startup. Yeah. You have a share of the company yeah, yeah. and when a company grows you grow kind of an e-shop in the web3 world e-shop e-shop yeah yeah i mean technical jargon there is e-shop the web2 term hai e-shop no, I, what's the full form i don't I, know i'm saying i know what e-shop is but for the other people around what the dumb it, motherfuckers are <laughs> <laughs> don't call yourself dumb slap yourself thrice and <laughs> apply some water on your cheek and then slap yourself again thrice and then <laughs> cry in the corner and when you sleep after crying and you wake up then search the internet for cryptocurrency e-shop oh okay. e-shop cryptocurrency as a whole what e-shop i, I mean ankur variku makes a lot of videos around e-shops so yeah. that's a good apply some wa- water <laughs> first before slapping it will hurt more so do that first and then you cry and what a weird individual you have so pai hai tum par wala mai karna dada dada 
थोड़ी मेहनत आपको भी खुद ही करनी पड़ेगी इनसे यू नो अलॉट ऑफ पीपल दैट क्रेप अबाउट नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्रिप्टो करेंसी और यू नो आई नॉट स्टडी आई नॉट स्टडी टू लेजी टू डू इट एज वेल नो बिकॉज सी इट्स एन इंटीमिडेटिंग स्पेस बिकॉज टेक इज इन्वॉल्व है वेरी हेवीली इज नथिंग देयर विदाउट टेक Yeah. This is not my dad told me about this company, yeah. or my uncle has invested in this stock. Yeah. This is you have no idea where you're going. Yeah. And if you, if you don't find the right resources, you're lost for a long time. So everyone has their own journey. But Finematics yeah. is a YouTube channel yeah. where you can learn about this. And uh, yeah, brilliantly explained with all the graphics used in video. Yeah. So so it's a good explained. place to start. But a lot of people just go head in first, looking for the profits, and that's where the problem is. If you go head in first without knowing the fundamentals of a stock, you lose money. Yeah. I mean, basic fundamentals you you need to know. You need to understand what you're putting your money into. That's and the rule one. Coursera marketing course won't teach you this. Yeah. That's what I that's what <laughs> I put out a story with. So there's this guy who made 1.24 billion dollars. Yeah, for holding a crypto bank for twenty six minutes. Twenty eight, twenty eight minutes. He just made an investment for twenty eight minutes, and then a return was for one point two eight million dollars. It's in the lower plug. Yeah, we're tripping. We're tripping. <laughs> I mean. So if you don't know about cryptocurrency, you need to fight for yourself because nobody is going to teach yeah, you. Yeah, schools don't teach this. Schools, so, schools even can't keep up with the curriculum as we discussed, right? Because it keeps on changing so fast. Yeah. So every like thing. yeah. So this is what I tweeted, right? Schools and colleges will never be able to teach crypto because by the time the curriculum is made and approved, yeah, it, it has <laughs> technology has changed. It has evolved. It's history now. Like it's like. If you're a newspaper company, yeah. you print a newspaper in the middle of the 2008 stock crash, crash. stock market crash. So by the time you printed the newspaper, <laughs> something else has happened only. And uh, trust me, then uh, <laughs> if it uh, something else has already happened, you know that you have lost a lot of money in that process. I mean, you yeah, have I mean, opportunities, so not just money is, opportunities. So, so I mean, the worst part about I mean your college degree, I mean how. You're a college student. I'm a college yeah. student. How much is your degree worth? It's going down. It's going down very fast. Yeah. Abhi mat bol yaar. I mean, so so like a lot of people I know. Three semester. A lot of people I know and you know. I mean, they go, they use their degree, and get a job in X Y big four, big six, big seven. I don't know. They go in there. they don't know shit i mean you don't know shit especially this batch or the next batch they're working from home you don't even go to college yeah so what are you learning there nothing <laughs> so you learn on the job you don't offer any value yeah and the p fees is not i mean the pay is not like astronomical is this that you know 10 am to 10 pm it's there's no value in that job that's what we yeah, look at I mean, there's no value addition to your life is this like you're doing what you've been told you're asked to do so you're not doing anything extraordinary monitoring your washroom breaks yeah that's this stupid free <laughs> coffee from a machine that's older than you i mean 20 year old machine making yeah, decaf I mean, it's the world is moved on very quickly so from these you. institutions and these companies will go down if they don't catch up yeah you know and your degree and degrees will be worth less and less and less and less per year skills would be valued more yeah because see if companies work as a dao you yeah the entry level is low but then you have to contribute right you just and can't go in there and ask questions and get money and earn proportionately about about uh, regarding the amount of work you do so that's that's pretty yeah, sorted and and this is i mean the best companies in the world at the moment don't see what your cv looks like yeah right i mean you need to have skills of course yeah but, but then using those skills you can offer value and they majorly don't care because they they just <laughs> think that if you fit in our framework that's like a bonus for us like it's right. a win and this this is going to hire you anyway if you are you know not even a graduate i i, I believe yeah you have a I mean, good work we have 15 year olds working in the web 3.0 crypto scene they're yeah. coders making their own protocols do they who do they need to ask for validation no one No one and say you have a finance degree, but you don't know anything about cryptocurrency. 
what what kind of a degree is that what kind of your knowledge is i mean you know about stock market and mutual funds yeah yeah we but, study we i in my management school but that's that's like knowing about email when you have cryptocurrency to learn about or discord yeah when you when you can learn about discord there's discord's knowledge there out there yeah. but you only know email that's fucked up <laughs> and school will never be able school colleges will never be able to catch up because the people who are teaching the industry is always yeah, always the changing pe- the people who are teaching have no experience we need more practitioners to teach to be honest we need more practitioners in academy as seen so that the upcoming generation even if they want to pursue education at a higher level they they do get the right thing because transitioning from school to college there's a big that's why these are different institutions school and college because college is not for everyone yeah i mean higher education is not for everyone you only do it if you are so capable <laughs> see, the capable the, enough the in- india isn't the same i mean the so, so the positive part of being in a private university like you are is at least your teachers have experience in the domain yeah, they're, they're teaching they were industry practice right government institutions yeah. like the one i am in most teachers come come from an academia background still have more value how so the person who is teaching me international marketing yeah has never, has never done international marketing so what the fuck is he doing so the person teaching i mean this is not knock on the I teacher complain. because he is doing his job the way he found a way to do his job yeah. but if you think about it fundamentally that person he really shouldn't be there teaching marketing yeah because international marketing is to be taught by a person who has a mnc and has done international marketing and most likely succeeded <laughs> right i mean how can i learn consumer behavior from a person who's never studied consumer behavior for his own profit or never actually practically used it yeah i mean <laughs> that's that's the tough part because so Yeah I mean that's a that that's something who's to fill that bridge I, there there's clearly a river in between and there's no bridge I in my in my institution of management where I study you know so my marketing teacher does have a marketing agency as well she she, she clearly offered me help for my own business startup she was like okay so apart from school um, like apart from teaching I'll help you. Like I'll I'll advise you if you want to hire me. You know I have a marketing agency. Yeah. I'll have people that will look over your brand and take over your social media. So I was like, okay. So she she actually has a business on the side. Like right. She's an industry practitioner teaching me in my course. So she knows what's right and wrong. So she's up with all trends. Right. I mean, and if you get if you, the if you wanted La Cartel to go international, yeah. and you go to my international marketing teacher, yeah. he'll tell you about Porter's diamond model. <laughs> you'll be like, what yeah. the fuck is Ida this? model? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'll be like, okay, I want to <laughs> make my have an international market. Can you help me? He'll be like, yeah, that uh, that. Uh, Porter's diamond model, and then this agreement happened between two, these two countries, and the NATO also is an is a market. Yeah, but I want to make my <laughs> company international. international. Can you help me? You're like fuck. No, he can't. This <laughs> this get me into Nepal. <laughs> yeah, can't buy my engagement. He, he can't. He can't because he's not been. I. How do you know if you've not done it? Yeah, and that's that's that that makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. So and still you are ranked above. I mean because <laughs> see the thing is that that's how it's been bef- it's been all all along these years right. So government made some colleges and the best teachers they had they brought them in. Yeah. So obviously they were grades. So according to the grades they got into government colleges. So that's how it's been all along. but that doesn't mean that the private universities that don't have better teachers now because the government they have shortage for teachers now i mean if you're an industry professional and you have a passion for teaching ankur variko won't come to delhi university for a, 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 first of all they're not paid enough no government no, teacher yeah, yeah. Due to in any institution strike. is paid their their due teaching is the most underrated job yeah, so I first of all they're not paid enough and second of all who they teach 
I mean, government. I mean, I'll be very honest. Most people are not interested in getting educated. That's what I said. Higher education is not for everyone. Yeah. People enroll themselves just to seek social validation, but it's not for everyone. Yeah, it shouldn't be, but it is right now in India. I mean, the US is going from away from it because the degree in Harvard causes like uh, two generations worth of your net worth. So. and you have student loans for the rest of your life and you want to kill yourself after you graduated but yeah so that's not ideal <laughs> so harvard says what up you got student loan you can repay that how you teach at harvard you pursue your phd <laughs> here and then you pursue your phd here as well and then you yeah more student loan you have more student loan <laughs> you are you fulfilling your student loan and you are also teaching at harvard yeah it's a rat running on the circle yeah. on so the ferris wheel mari aur amme tumhare liye kaam kar raha hu it's great Uh, people are going away from them and how do you learn about crypto right now is in the youtube youtube internet YouTube, websites blogs, blogs people actual people in the industry vitalik buterin has a blog of his own where he gives out just gold diamonds and <laughs> just full wisdom free free like i don't know how to express it it's so crazy yeah he has a blog of his own and he's It's very clear. I mean, Nawal. Listen to Nawal Ravikant about economics. He's, he's amazing. Man. Listen to him. Like <laughs> I also I saw your tweet, Twitter with only Nawal tweets. Yeah, that's a startup idea. Yeah. If you want to learn about Bitcoin, go to Robert Breedlove or Peter McCormick. So these guys, I mean, learn want to learn about Ethereum. Go to Superpumps YouTube channel. Tanmay Bhatt is doing more for education than the government is right now. Someone pay him. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from you, <YouTube. laughs> yeah. Someone needs to pay him. Ankur Varigo would teach you more finance than your college would, right? That's it. The, yeah, personal finances. I do do see Ankur Varigo. Yeah, and those are great tips. I mean, Shashank Udupa would teach you. I mean, S O I C. That YouTube channel would teach you more about fundamentals of a stock than any school the or college would. The course that Tanvi Bhat has with his friend on the, on stock market would teach you more. Than yeah, the free ten ten episode. Ten course. episode course. That's that's a must. I mean, if you are into stock market, you should definitely go. Watch that super pump YouTube channel under podcast. That's amazing. It's for free for free. How And do you explain that? Still, still, we want a degree. So we <laughs> want to, you know, spend tons of shit load of money. In Because EY university. wouldn't hire you without it, right? Yeah. But EY yeah. is about to go out of business. <laughs> That's the main problem. Just like we started with Western Union losing four hundred billion dollars a year. If there are blockchains that are keeping an account, why would you hire an accountant? It's a creative. It's the world of the creative economy. It's the creative economy, and the economist needs to catch yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> bloody getting involved in politics. <laughs> Stupid. It's the creator, creator economy. I mean, so I mean, I hope this is our hope, right? Someone learns about crypto more from yeah. watching this. Yeah. So we are part of it. Yes, we are not earning anything out of this. So we're not even us. thinking about monetization <laughs> anytime soon. Somebody pay us. But this is an excuse for me to learn more. Right, Same, I cannot come right? here and talk about Solana if I don't know what Solana, Solana is. is. So, doing your homework is the most fun part of this entire podcast. Right, I cannot talk about Afghanistan if I don't know what's happening in Afghanistan. It's a, Or, it's an excuse for me to learn. That's it. And that's how you keep growing with more learning. You keep yeah. the day you stop learning, you are probably dead. I mean, every day humans learn, and the day you are not learning, you are dead, probably. Yeah. So and we learn about that news. <laughs> <laughs> and we learn more and more and more, <laughs> and that's how we'll keep going. Yeah. So I mean, With degrees will go out of fashion very soon, unless a college comes up and gives an NFT for a degree. <laughs> uh, I want my college to give me an NFT for my degree. <laughs> I want that to happen. I'll be in, it will be in my trust wallet. <laughs> <laughs> worthless in my digital <laughs> locker still be worthless fuck off they won't be worthless 100% oh. placements <laughs> <laughs> very good very good yeah no, i mean don't give a shoot for a placement bro yeah it's not a value that's the point yeah. it's a sad state of affairs if you i mean the only way you can learn about the internet through is through the internet internet and that's how the rabbit hole starts <laughs> yeah it's a rabbit hole and then it's worth it. diving deep into when if you're a developer or an engineer not a mechanic not a mechanic <laughs> you can build the car <laughs> <laughs>
कार ब्रिज गेट जो मैं बना बना चुके हैं जी बढ़ के बना इफ यू आर अ डेवलपर आई मीन कंग्रेचुलेशंस यू वन द लॉटरी टिकट एट द मोमेंट यस या वी नीड डेवलपर्स एंड दैट्स हाउ द एंटायर स्पेस विल गो फॉरवर्ड दैट्स द वे फॉरवर्ड smartest people working on the smartest of things they don't smart contracts yeah yeah <laughs> they're not smart but <laughs> so with that you don't need a degree you just need to be so podcast <laughs> and with that we'll see you again yeah pay us your college fees yes pay us <laughs> some amount so to have 50% of your pocket money if you yeah. have my wallet any. is not linked down below i'll do it monday <laughs> same same we'll have a slippery slope wallet <laughs> We'll, we'll make, make this a DAO. Enough people join, and we'll make make it a DAO. We'll make a slippery slope coin. <laughs> SSP, SSP, <laughs> and yeah. that's not a meme coin. Trust me, yeah. it's gonna be big. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for joining us today at Slippery Slopes Podcast. We hope you learned something of value today with us, and uh, just be true to yourself. Yeah. Take initiative. Step in forward. Take the right to have knowledge about. crypto take the right of having knowledge don't, about don't buy shit coins anything yeah do not waste this is a very interesting coins. space man i mean if your finance if finance interests you not just finance insano ko ye samajh nahi padega if creativity interests you human yeah. ingenuity interests you and you want this to is, celebrate it that's this is <laughs> this, this is where it's is, happening is the place and with that we'll see you next week same time same place and maybe with our wallet links <laughs> <laughs>